Muy buenas a todos, bienvenidos a este vídeo en el que enseñaré cómo forjar un fuerte vínculo con cada personaje en Tales of Arise. En total hay 5 personajes con los que tendremos que forjar un fuerte vínculo. Al hacerlo conseguiremos un total de 6 logros o trofeos. Lo primero que tendremos que hacer será avanzar en la historia hasta llegar a Mesía 244. En la hoguera de esta zona tendremos nuestra primera conversación de amistad. Desde este punto del juego tendremos que ir revisando la hoguera aproximadamente cada hora de juego para comprobar si al dormir aparece un cuadro de diálogo junto al nombre de algún personaje. En caso de aparecer elegimos a ese personaje para ver otra conversación de amistad y repetimos hasta ver todas las de cada personaje. Have a good night. Hmm. Didn't get it, huh? Shion, could we talk a moment? <sighs> hmm. I thought you had something to talk about. I was waiting on you. Not really. Why? Should I leave you alone when I don't? No, it's fine. We used to really have to force these conversations when we started talking to each other, didn't we? To say the least. <laughs> hey. What is it? Do you think you'd like to make something together? Make what exactly? Just if you wanna... Just if you wanna make dinner together. What did you think I meant? Huh? Dinner? Uh, oh, oh, dinner, yes. Yes, of course, dinner, right. What did you think I was talking about? No, it's nothing, don't worry about it. <clears throat> anyway, what did you have in mind? Well, do you recognize these ingredients? This is, wait, is this? So you remember? That's right. We're going to fix the very first meal we ever had together. Although, I remember it not being well received when we had it. You still remember that, huh? I'm sorry, Xion. I'm just teasing you, Alfin. I picked this recipe because it's easy to make, and I thought it would be a good choice for dinner, too. Anyway, let's get to work. With both of us making it, we should be finished in no time. I never thought we'd end up eating alone like this again. Just the two of us. Yeah. So much has changed when you look back on it. Well, I guess maybe not what we're eating, but still. No, I'd say even that's changed too, in a sense. Our meals are a whole lot better now. True. We've both come quite a long way in the culinary arts. That's not exactly what I mean. How do I put it? It feels like eating together is a lot more enjoyable than it used to be. Yeah, I get what you mean. Even after our battles are done, when Dana is saved and our mission is finished, we'll probably still be sitting down to dinner like this, night after night. Yep, I doubt that much will change. You've always got to eat at some point. I hope our dinners will always feel like this. Maybe not exactly like this. Hopefully we won't still be camping out. Oh no, not at all. I meant in a nice, warm house. One with a roof over our heads and a proper fireplace, instead of an open campfire. And real chairs instead of these logs? Nice plates and silverware on a big dining table. Oh, and a proper kitchen. That'd be nice too. And when it's time to fix dinner, we'll be in that kitchen. Standing side by side. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Looks like we made too much. <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to finish all this. Yeah, you're right. I'll see if anybody else is still awake. I'd really hate to have to throw it away. Side by side, huh? Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? Mm -hmm. I'm surprised to see you up reading so late. What have you got there? Oh, it's a book about magic. I was hoping I'd reach the end of this chapter before I went to bed. I'm impressed you can read all that tiny text without drifting off. It's easy. Honestly, the subject is so interesting, it keeps me wide awake. 
Although I have to admit, the more I read this book, the more I realize just how much I still have to learn. I hate not knowing it all, so it pushes me to keep learning as much as I can so I can be a real expert. So that's why you're studying by the campfire every night, huh? You've really changed, Rinwell. R really I don't feel like it. Remember how you used to be when we first met in Calaglia? Sure, but that's because I was still hiding a lot from you guys. Am I really all that different aside from that? Definitely. It's the difference between a rock and the sun. Are you saying I used to be like a rock? That's not something you should use to describe a girl, Alfin. <laughs> My bad. But the comparison is still apt. You used to not be open with us about your magic at all. And now look at you. Well, I guess you may have a point. I used to hate studying magic because my parents made me do it. And after everything that happened, I... I felt like it brought nothing but trouble. But now, I don't think it's so bad after all. Maybe I really have changed more than I thought. All magic is simply astral energy combined with knowledge. It's neither good nor bad by itself. It all depends on how you use it. Saying it out loud, I guess I finally made peace with it. I think you have Law to thank for that. What? W why him? I mean, he was kind of the one who... Nope, he's got nothing to do with it. None. Zilch. Nada. Nothing. <laughs> if Law heard that, he'd be pretty bummed, you know. Y you're crazy. I don't see why he would be. Are you saying you'd rather he wouldn't be? <sighs> I'd say the fact you can get so worked up about things now is another sign you've changed. Sounds like someone wants me to put on a little magic show. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll take my leave before I say anything else that might get me into trouble. Just make sure you aren't staying up too late, okay? Ugh, I'm not a little kid anymore. Yeesh. Though, actually... It felt kind of nice hearing that. I wonder why. Ooh. Mind if I join you, Law? So, how's it been going? How's what been going? Come on, man. You know what I mean. How have things been with you and Shion? I had a feeling it was about that. Well, what about things on your end? No, we're not talking about me. I'd rather hear about you. I don't really have anything to share on that front. Don't be like that. You think I can't tell something's been going on? Look, I'm not the type to go blabbing about that kind of stuff. Give me a break. Don't keep secrets from me just because you're a little old. I'm not that old. I don't know, man. Lately, it seems like you start wheezing as soon as we get into a fight. That's some pretty big talk. You really want to try your luck with me? <sighs> what were we talking about before? It was... Uh... <sighs> Well, it doesn't really matter now. <laughs> What's wrong? Did I hit your head too hard? No, man, you don't get it. You're really something, Alfin. What do you mean? Just you. How you always indulge me and help me work through my jumbled thoughts. Do I? Yeah, I always feel better after being with you. Even duking it out just now helped. <laughs> There you go again, making me out to be better than I really am. I'm not making you out to be anything. You can't stop me from admiring you, Alfin. You've got strange taste, then. Eh, I'm fine with that. I hope someday I can be there to lift you up, too. I don't plan on getting quite that old anytime soon. We should go again sometime. We should. I look forward to it. Kisara, let's talk for a bit. 
So, Kisara, once this fight is all over, I'm guessing you plan on heading back to Vicent? Yeah. I've seen and learned so much traveling Dano with you all. I want to see those lessons applied back home. Hopefully I can use that knowledge to help reform Menencia even further. So it can be a model to other realms. What about you, Alfin? What's your plan? That's... a good question. I think I would be happy just to be able to put my fighting days behind me, and live a calmer, more peaceful life. Granted, all I've ever known is how to swing a sword. I'm not sure that switch will be so easy. Still, as long as I have somewhere to come home to, somewhere with a roof and four walls without any holes in them, that'll be good enough for me. It would be a home with enough food to make sure I don't go hungry, and a warm bed at night so I don't freeze. It wouldn't have to be anything fancy. You've always been modest like that. But you're forgetting something else that makes a home. Family. What if you and Xion- I'd hate to make this conversation all about me. Is there anything you want for yourself once things are over? For myself? I've never really thought about it. Hmm. Well, there is one thing I can think of. I don't know if I should say it, though. Yeah? I want a fishing pond. Really? Yeah. I've been thinking about it for a while now. I love fishing, but it's always been such a process to actually do. You always have to make all these preparations before you go out and fish. It'd be nice to have a place I could visit without that hassle. Dig a pond, fill it with water, and get some fish for it. If I could do that, I wouldn't have to worry about zoogles, and everyone could use it. You really do love fishing if you're even thinking of ways to help other people enjoy it. I do. Just don't tell him I said any of this, okay? Him? You mean Dohalim? True. If he caught wind of it, it might turn into a way bigger project than it really needs to be. Not only that, he's still determined to make Vicente's residence happy. But personally, I feel his power would be better put to use elsewhere. So if I ever get around to making my fishing pond, I'd rather do it on my own. Well, if you ever need help, don't hesitate to ask. I don't know my lures from my rods, but I can definitely help with any manual labor you need. That's sweet of you to offer. I think I'll take you up on that. And then, with the fish I catch there, I could treat everyone to special home-cooked dinners. I'm getting excited already just thinking about it. I suppose I never realized until this conversation that I had any dreams like that for myself. Thank you, Alfin. Dohalim, care if I hang out for a while? You want some? Well, I'll be. I'm not accustomed to such offers, but I'll gladly partake. <laughs> it's quiet tonight, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think there are even any zoogles lurking around for once. Is this one of those times where people would start playing music? My, have our talks sparked an interest in such arts? I wouldn't go that far. But from what I've seen, there's a lot more to life than just swinging swords and getting into fights all the time. You wouldn't have gone without that knowledge for so long, had we Renans not pillaged your planet. Words cannot express how sorry I feel. Three hundred years of bad blood is too much to lay on one person's feet. That's something a man I admired once said. I appreciate the sentiment. I pray that once all of this fighting is over, will be able to finally find a purpose for yourself, other than simply fighting. You know, it's strange. I haven't given much thought about what I'm actually going to do with my life once our quest is all over. The only thing I've ever been good at in life is swinging my sword around and hitting things. Then perhaps it's time for you to begin to contemplate what else you wish to do in life. Aside from fighting... Hmm... I guess you've got things like your music and junk... Uh, I mean, antique collecting to look forward to, after all. Well, I'm sure you have other interests as well. From what I can tell, you seem to be rather interested in weaponry and Renan machinery, yes? I'm only interested in weapons when it comes to how easy they are to use. 
And as for technology, I don't know a damn thing about it. If you have the interest, you can always learn. Being able to understand and create technology that supports and improves lives is always valuable. I'm not sure I'm cut out for studying. You're right, there's stuff I wouldn't mind knowing more about, but... That was merely a hypothetical example. My point is that sometimes you can find the answer in the things that you like and already do. Yeah, I hear you. Hmm... Hey, I know. If we're talking about things I like, what if I tried opening a spicy food restaurant? <laughs> Not bad. Although your customer base may be limited. I feel bad making you my life coach when I originally just wanted to drink together. Think nothing of it. It is the least I owe you. My life wouldn't be what it is today had you and your friends not come to Vicent. In fact, I think I may owe you all more than I could ever hope to... Uh, Alfin? Hmm. <laughs>